Okay. This is happening. We are we are gonna sky some sunless things or something like that. So, um Stream's offline. Yeah, stream will be online here uh, here in a moment because I clicked start uh, start start streaming and it will it will be up in a moment unless this frickin' thing is messing with me. Come on, you stupid you tub. Seriously? Is you YouTube just telling me to go fuck myself right now? Is that what's happening? Here's such. That is very strange. That is very strange. Okay, there we go. Now we're freaking loading. Way to go, YouTube! Telling me to go uh, to go go fuck myself for the first uh, for the first attempt at streaming this. All right, all right, all right. So as, as Brittany was was point uh, was pointing out, this is basically uh, Cthulhu tra or rather uh, Brittany and Final Chord were, uh, were pointing out. This is basically Cthulhu Train Simulator. Uh, I, I, I was a humongous fan of Sun, of Sunless Seas, like, like, I loved everything Fail Better was, do, uh, was doing with it, obviously I, I could go on for a little bit about criticisms of the game itself, but me buying and playing this game is incredibly long, a uh, long overdue, so let's, let's get, uh, get in on this. Um, Legacy or Merciful campaign, you can only continue with a new cap, you know what, let's, let's go Legacy, I am master of my own soul up in here. Uh, if you were feeling bold, I mean, it more. I, I more just kind of, uh, kind of expect that uh, that I will that I will die relatively quickly, and then we'll basically <laughs> just uh, just be like, okay, well that that was a, that was a good run. Let's let's try this again another another night. This is something of a late night stream. Yeah, fair. And yes. Also, there's additional difficulty options. Play merciful bear says, yeah, no, this is this is fine. Uh, measured, stately, standard, default, default, uh, gentle, moderate, not, yeah, you know what, we're just, we're just gonna go with defaults, this is fine, this is fine. Having fun, I see. Who are you in the dark? Achievement progress. There's a lot more story than Sunless Sea, which is why I suggest it. Well, that is definitely the uh, the high point of of the sun of the Sunless games. Like the gameplay, the gameplay is some is something that you use to connect the story together. Yeah, it's a lot like uh, every other relatively simplistic gameplay loop of grind the hell out of a whole bunch of loot. Then you can go a little bit further next time. Logan for Majesty's Locomotive, The Orphan, March 14th, 1905. Our expedition to the domains of the dead has been eventful. The orphan was damaged and is in grievous need of repair and supplies. We are returning in haste to the Reach, where we hope, yeah, well, we may God be with us. Final entry of Captain Amelia Charity Washington. Orphean. Orphean. Sorry, like, I, was, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was paying, I was paying attention. Somebody was, uh, was messaging me on Steam, so uh, I got distracted there for a minute. Yeah, you're distracted by a ball of tinfoil. Yeah. Refer referencing uh, Orpheus and Eurydice, you know, because you're going to the kingdom of the dead and then coming back. Okay, so Far this, do oh, this doesn't have the. Uh, uh, was Orpheus the one who ended up uh, dealing with the. Uh... No, wait, that was Tantalus, my bad. Never mind. Yeah, and Orpheus, Orpheus was the guy who went to get his girlfriend back, and he was like, fine, you can have her, just don't look back. 
You have returned to the Reach, an untamed, sunless span of the heavens. London's new frontier. A celestial garden on the wild. Um... This game actually plays really well in controller, if you have a controller. I do have a controller. I need to plug it in. Your journey <laughs> from the back of the kingdom was tumultuous. Your locomotive was damaged and your block is badly wounded. As first officer, your the crew looks to you. The nearest station is New Winch Pier. Can you get the orphan there safely? You might want to pause well, because your your stuff is still ticking down. Same as same <laughs> as, as C's then. Yup. Alright, fair. <laughs> um yeah, no, it's uh very much it the the gameplay by default is similar ish to uh Sunless Sea, except that um Yes, no, the background history is the same as Sun the Sea. It's basically about ten years later. Uh, basically, what happened was, uh, after Sunless Sea happened, the, um, oh, SFX is a bit overpowering. I heard, uh, uh, I saw that. I was going to continue to let, I'll let you talk while I adjusted it. Oh, thank you. Yes, so basically, uh, ten years passed between the end of Sunless Sea and the beginning of Sunless Skies. In that time, uh... The queen decided that everybody's going to space now, so they <laughs> made trains that can fly. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't, do not question her, uh, her, her undying majesty, her eternal majesty, Seriously. rather. So what? Her what renewed basic, majesty. Her renewed majesty. Right. Whatever. Um, but uh, basically, what happened was, is eventually they did eventually they managed to make it up to space, um, which you're in now. Um, they left the bazaar behind. They left the masters of the bazaar behind. Uh, and then they attacked the sun and blew it the fuck up. They attacked um, Saul? Yes. Why the fuck? <sighs> Never mind. Uh, so I, I, it looks I, like I, I need I, to restart I, I, I to, get, to get it to recognize my uh, my controller, so that's what I'm doing. Please uh, please okay. don't be alarmed. Oh, no. You, yeah. it's, it's, in the, it's in the options. You have to actually go through the options. And oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, at yeah, the same time, you yeah. had to plug your controller in in the first place, right? So, well, yes. I mean, I can't leave my con uh, my controller plugged in while uh, while I'm playing uh, playing frickin' Mountain Blade because there uh, because there is no way to turn off the vibration when you get uh, hit or whatever when uh, in uh, Mountain yeah. Blade. So and you really don't want the damn thing dancing off of the top of your computer. It scares the hell out of me. I have a solid wood <laughs> desk. Okay, that thing is resonant. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. anyway. You guys, you guys remember how you, if you if you go to Fallen London, you couldn't die, right? Or like you you could die, but it, it was, was very very difficult to stay dead. Yeah, like, like there there's the reason, there's the entire thing there. All right, wonderful. The reason for that is because light in the sunless sea in the sunless sea sunless skies universe, light is law. Um, li uh, light dictates the laws of reality, even things like the way that life and death work so because you were so far away from the light of the uh, the light of the world it, in other words the sun uh a lot of the the laws of reality didn't quite apply or it was really hard to make them stick so when they went up to space they blew up the sun because the queen wanted control over the the laws of reality man and this is the same woman so who was they built <laughs> this is the same woman who uh, who was tacitly who was tacitly uh, saying uh, saying that it was a great idea to uh, to make a literally insane star in the neath? The dawn yes. machine was a terrible idea, and I I will go to my grave on that one. So they it was made a the terrible. clockwork sun, uh, which is basically like the dawn machine, but even worse. And the even sun, bigger. The sun, the sun, yeah, even much bigger. Um, and in doing so, they fucked with time. Um, and time sort of started to crystallize. Um, and so now hours are, like, this unit of time, are mined out of rocks and mountains. And yes, it is a train. It's a flying train. Don't worry uh, about it. <laughs> it's a space train! It is indeed a space train. Uh, <laughs> for a bit of a cool guy, you're probably wondering how we got up to space. Uh, more. I'm much more one, uh, wondering why. Uh, why the hell it isn't. Uh, it isn't u uh, using my gamepad when I literally said use gamepad. That is because the game hates you. Hmm. All right. Can we oh. do this now? Yes, we can do this now. Wonderful. Alrighty. Cool. But yes. Uh. Instead of there you are. Time. You forgot to yeah, comply yeah, yeah. changes. That's. Yeah. 
I feel time like I hit that button. But yes, time isn't I'm... explicitly money, but it is a it is a, a commodity. So close yes. enough. <laughs> now, how we got up to space, or as it's known here, the high wilderness. How many endings did you get in Sunless Sea? Uh, four. Did you get a I one involving a certain big gate? Oh, the uh, the one where the one where you go uh, you go through the uh, the vast horizon. Sure. The avid horizon. Avid horizon, yes. Yes, the high wilderness is what's on the other side of the avid horizon. Got it. The Aussie man. Yeah. To be fair, as uh, what was written in uh, Sunless uh, Sea, the horizon was basically a case of. <laughs> the wreck of the yeah. Ozymandias. The wreck hangs in the sky, pocked with recent gunfire. You and the boarding party don your sky suits, garments of waxed canvas lined with felt, protected against the cold of the sky. Two of the crew are whispering as they dress. What business did the Captain Whitlock have in the Blue Kingdom anyway? Why the devil did we trespass in the districts of the dead? You di uh, you silence him. Now is not the time. Leap across the wreck. You jump. Your stomach lurches with vertigo as the stars blaze above you and below. The the air of the heavens is thin and torn by unpredictable winds. Then your boots hit the running board of the Ozymandias and your le uh, leather-gloved hands fumble for a hold. One of your companions throws you a line and you lash the two engines together. Only then does the rest of the boarding party follow you. One of them forces open an exterior hatch and you clamber inside. So yes, fun fact. The High Wilderness has air. It's very thin air, and it sometimes has weird winds, but it's air. Yep. yep. So it's basically more akin to the stratosphere instead of hard yeah. air. Yeah. Like the upper atmosphere sort of deal, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, so, I, I, I'm sorry, Brittany, we totally should uh, probably have said spoiler alerts on Sunless Sea, but by the same token, that game is, what, almost ten years old now? Like, if you haven't play, uh, played it by this point, you're not going to. Also, well, she did say I don't give a damn. Yeah, so. well, I, she she's she's she is no is notably chill, Notab notable chill per a person Brittany Disher up in here. Big Speaking of up. chill, her interior is cold, unlit, and whistles with wind. Your party your party's lamps spread buttery light over the narrow paneled passages. You make your way towards the hold, stepping over bodies crumpled in the corridor. Unfortunately, your way is blocked. A bulkhead is mangled inward with a well-aimed uh, barrage. Test your iron skill. Yeah, okay, we're definitely test uh, testing iron if... It's 50-50 for both of them. Yep. As you strain against stubborn steel, you remember an event from a year ago. A boiler explosion had trapped an engineer under a tangle of plating and pipework. The captain was the first on the scene, and you were second. Together, you managed to pry the wreckage upward enough for you to crawl beneath it, while the captain braced the bar above her back. By all means, take your time, she grunted as you dragged the engineer out. Back in the present, the twisted bulkhead yields. Your companions clear the exposed rubble away. The way is clear. You've reached the Ozymandias' hold, a ruin of smashed cargo and spilled supplies. Somewhere amidst the detritus, you can find parts to repair the Orphean and restock your uh, stores. Conduct a thorough search. Yeah, by the way, there are four stats here instead of five. Yep. Ah, blo uh, bloody and useful. Did, was it pages that, uh, that got uh, that got axed? Uh, yeah. yes. Praise also, Ja! Okay, so, I gotta... Do you want to or shall I? Uh, just, give me just uh, just one, se uh, one second. It looks like we're almost done here. You find yep. enough food and gear to restock your supplies, which and enough spare parts to make necessary repairs to the Orphean. Your the food will uh, will need to be thoroughly thawed, of course. But you've eaten worse across the skies. Oh ho! Cries one of your party, prying a lid off a long crate. It holds a cannon nestled in straw. Another crewman pulls a battered bird cage from a pile of ruined cargo. Within the cage, something pointed furred opens a sullen eye. You examine your finds. So interesting. Okay, so liberated. Uh, you can claim both this and the bat. Okay, cool. From the chaos of the hold, you have re uh, retrieved repairs and supplies, and discovered some useful equipment: a gun that could be mounted on your locomotive, and an educated bat. Well, let, we're definitely taking both of those. Yes. Yeah. That, <laughs> a gun and a scout. Oh, the uh, to 
two important gameplay things about uh, Sunless Skies. Number one, you don't have to get a firing solution. You just shoot. You shoot directly in front of yourself. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, second important thing, your stats no longer have anything to do with ship combat. Uh, your stats are exclusively for dealing with story storylets. Mark of the Ozymandias screeches as its metal buckles and tears. You press on through the shuddering corridors, searching frantically for the engine room. So I can I can use a small party to retrieve uh, to retrieve fuel, and that's a hearts test. Or I can go myself, and that ostensibly tests mirrors, but I I don't see. You can use the right stick to scroll. Oh, down. there we go. Okay. So yeah, it's a so, 50, yeah, it's fifty exactly. fifty both uh, both ways. Let's test hearts. Yep. Failure. That's unfortunate. It happens. You're heartless. Um, no one is keen to go uh, to go alone. In the end, you have to rely on drawing lots. No, the two members of the party with the short shortest straws pale and make their cautious way to the engine room. The rest of you, uh, the rest of you, return to the Orphean and await their return. And wait, and wait. Too late. With a dying groan, the Ozymandias buckles and splits in half. The two end spiraling to different directions in the sky. The two crew that were still aboard are lost. Womp womp. Yep. Sucks to be you. And that was why I didn't go alone. Well, uh, I mean, look at it this way. There's a reason why crew is considered a resource. Yep. They're delicious. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... A lot of the a lot of the genre conventions are pretty similar, uh, Brittany, uh, generally speaking. It's more or less just the setting uh, is a little bit brighter. <laughs> My dog wants to go out. I'll be right back. Yep. Come on, buddy. Yeah. As for the genre, I think probably the closest thing to call it would be Gasland Point. Fantasy. It's got steampunk, but it's also very heavily occult. You still very much have your same Victorian London things because it's still Victoria on the throne. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so the, 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 well, the, the, overall, the overall genre... Only. The overall genre for the uh, for this uh, for the fallen London universe defi uh, defies defies easy categorization. It's easy to call yeah. uh, to call it Cthulhu, and it's easy to call uh, to call it steampunk. It's easy to call it a lot of things because the basic precept of the uh, of the universe is very very different from uh, from anything else that you've run into before. And that the basic yeah. precept of the universe is is what they sort of uh, we sort of alluded to earlier. The stars are alive. Like they they are sentient be uh, beings, and they they are the ones that decide what is okay and what is not in the universe. And they yeah. they they enforce the uh, this the uh, their uh, their whims with their light. So Saul, for uh, for example, has a uh, has a perception of what is and isn't okay in the universe, which we would know as the law uh, the laws of physics and chemistry and every uh, everything like that. The only reason it continues to work is because Saul continues to burn. About yeah. that. And then, uh, then Queen Victoria came up and murked it. Yeah, and then because... uh, then obviously as part uh, part of the part of uh, part of the the progression between uh, between Sunless Sea and Sunless Skies is Saul apparently got nuked, which I'm not okay with because because I kind of <laughs> like Saul. I'm a little bit attached to him. Anyway. Yeah. Victoria Victoria decided at one point in time that no, she's the one in, on top here. She gets to decide what the laws are. She's so grossly incandescent. Uh, yes. Hearts Hearts is uh, your general willpower and personability. Mirrors is your general intelligence and uh, perceptiveness. Veils is your de deceptiveness and stealth. And Iron is your ability to do to do brute force things. Yeah, so, so we, we, are, we, are we, are we are looking in on, uh, on the captain here, and her mouth is blistered from the blue fires that dance on her tongue. Her hand gl uh, grips your arm. Her skin is as hot as a kettle. Made arrangements, the Orphean will be yours. Her voice is just a rasp of burned meat breath, but promise... She breaks off to scream a word in a language that is not meant for human mouths. When she resumes speaking English, she is weaker. Her request little more than a gasp. Promise me one last ser uh, service. Promise. And I can promise, make no promise, pull away, or demand to know why, uh, why she took the Orphean to the Blue Kingdom. The woman is dying. Let's, let's just, let, let's be chill. She sinks back, relieved. All in my will. 
she gasps, be a better. She breaks off as the sigils burned into her bones flare, gl glowing cherry red through her flesh and skin. Be a better captain than I. The effort exhausts her and she sinks back into the scorched pillows in a twisting, frantic fever. Well, so yeah. In going to the Blue Kingdom, along with whatever she did there, she had the correspondence burned into her bones. Yup. Um, the correspondence basically being the language of the celestial bodies like stars and oh, such, whoa, 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 so whoa, whoa, whoa. it's quite burny. Yep. Holy buckets, what is going on here? Uh, you have to shoot the things in front of you. They uh, work. yeah, no, it, I have, I have larger problems than that. It, uh, it locked my throttle open. Uh, your cruise oh. control's on, I think. Yeah, uh, press the le left stick. Yeah, I did that. It is, it is not changing try anything. Reversing. Yeah, try reversing. That'll, that should kill it. I cannot reverse. Um. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> this is, this is great. Utterly fantastic. So, uh, I'm trying. I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, to attempt to unapply the ga uh, the game pad, and this yeah. is not what I wanted to do. Thank you, game. Ah, uh, shenanigans. There we go. All right, now let's back. Uh, let's back up. You might want to use your lateral thrusters. Controllers do work. Like, when I played it, the, my controller worked great. Also, also yeah. I think this one just hates him. Well, yeah. I, th I think it, ha it had something to, uh, something to do with the interaction between uh, between me sending out my bat and get, uh, getting a scouting report. It's the exact ah. same moment I got, I got a... I got a... Um, story a, lit? Yeah, story lit. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. tell you a little Things tip now. now. You can ignore it if you like. Um, side dashing, what you're doing right there, very, very, very important for combat. Yeah, I it's kinda also figured. It's also a faster and more fuel efficient way to get around. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah, also be mindful of your heat. Yeah. In combat, whenever you fire, you generate heat, and whenever you dash, you generate heat. If you overheat, you can do neither for a while. Is that all? Well, you can, all? You can fire, but it will take out a huge chunk of your hull. Okay. See, like, like I was, I was, I was, I was treating heat a little, a little bit like, uh, like some uh, somebody would otherwise treat it in, uh, in, um, frick, in frickin' what is it called, uh, battle tech. Like, yeah, really like it, more, more or less. If you, if you run into, if you overheat, it's a stop, you dummy sort of situation. Well, yeah, it's it is definitely that here. Just you can't shoot and you can't dodge, which are extremely important because moving around at normal, like with your, uh, with your rear engine, is just slow. All right, fantastico. Now then, um, Blue Kingdom Transit Relay. You want to go to New Winchester? The wreckage, at least. Which is that uh, the thing that looks like train tracks there? Right. Yeah, those are ports. Very useful. I guess they're stations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, should I get this game? Yes. Very much yes. I mean, if you it's if, so so good. So, uh, so far it, lo it looks very much like uh, very uh, very much the same as uh, as same sort of experience as, as C's. So if you like C's, you might as well. All right, rival at New uh, New Winchester. You coast into the bustle, the din, the soot, and the steam of Woolsey Station. It is clogged with other uh, other engines, scrappy mining locomotives from Lustrum Way, weathered explorers gleaming with frost, sleek company vessels with bright brass fittings. No sooner ha uh, have you pulled into the sidings than the uh, than a brusque station master bustles over. He requests to come aboard. You must speak with your captain. He insists, brandishing a ledger, the usual formalities. And go talk to the doctor. Yeah, the artwork is, just, is great. Shoulder. His face is solemn, his hat in his hands. He lowers his eyes. Yep. The crew exchange bleak, wordless looks. The Orphean itself suddenly feels more empty. The station master looks confused. You inform him that 
Unfortunately, Captain Whitlock has just passed. Ah, he says neutrally. Sorry to hear that. Very sad, very sad. He waits for what he considers is an appropriate minute and a half before continuing. Alas, even amidst tragedy, the cogs of bureaucracy must turn. If Captain Whitlock is deceased, the station authority requires their answers from the first officer. Shall be relatively painless. Name, background, purpose of visit, etc. Shall we begin? Let's do that. Would be super nice if I hit A and it continued to go forward. Why is it not going forward? That is an amazing question. Oh, okay. The there it finally did a thing. All right, create your painting. captain. Bales, hearts, mirrors, and blah blah blah. Yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. By the way, these do not just affect uh, stats. They can also give you special encounters and interactions. Okay, and my. I, I, I seriously can't I cannot use the uh, this this um this wow for some reason okay. uh, the this controller for some reason it like it has just cut a uh, cut out while I'm attempt I'm, I'm attempting to do this and it's not a matter of it's not of it's not being uh, of like it's not getting signal I literally popped over to check uh, to check if it was still getting signal this game just does not like my controller. For whatever okay. reason, and I, I have, I have one of the generic. Results. God, this is this is this is fucking great because uh, because because since it ha it happened in the in the screen or in the the character creation screen, I am now soft locked. Are you? Can you? I am soft locked. Your... I cannot. I cannot do it. Uh, do anything. If. Have you? Mouse? There we go. <laughs> Holy crap! Mouse, fi no mouse, finally responded. Like, like that, oh, that was God. about the fourth or fifth time I, I had, I had hit it. Okay, so mouse and keyboard works just fine. I don't know. Whenever I play, I use this uh, generic Logitech key uh, controller. It works just fine. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, it's called Cool Guys Lock. Fair Jesus enough. Christ! Yeah, no, that bit, that soft locked the game there for a minute. That was incredible. All right, so ba basically, I have two cho uh, choices each for uh, for whichever with uh, whichever, whichever means that you want. Yeah, yeah, stat that I want. I prefer high iron, so that basically means I'm either a zailer or a soldier. I'm going with a soldier. I go zailer. Yeah, I go zailer. I went soldier, but you know what? Fine, we'll go zailer. Um, um the other thing to keep in mind is um, the, the 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 good thing about mouse and keyboard that you can't do with a controller is. You can hover over uh, icons that like give you like the like tell you what you need and what your chances are or whatever, and it'll tell you, give you a little tool tip that says, "Hey, you need or you have this much of a percent chance." So, I'm I'm sorry, I got distracted by uh, by chat uh, by checking chat. What was your what uh, what was your your um, okay so thing there you. you you know how when you were doing the story lit and you had like uh, a mirrors, uh, mirrors. Yeah, I had the right? die that ba basically gave uh, gave me a perception of how difficult the uh, the test was. Yeah, um, if you if you actually hover your mouse over it uh, while you're using mouse and keyboard controls, it'll tell you an exact percentage chance of success. success. Ah, fantastic! Great, uh, Brittany, my um, my controller is a, is a simple wired Xbox 360 controller. It uh, it could not be uh, be more universally compatible with anything on Windows. Anyway, of all of these, I definitely prefer mirrors. Wealth, fame, the truth, demanding ambition. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Wealth. Luke, Luke, Luke. Wealth is wealth is pretty classic. It's the one I've done first for most of mine uh just because it's fairly straightforward but when they say wealth they bloody well mean it you best have a lot of money when you try for your end game your brother cool guy <laughs> i love it brother cool guy fantastic yeah i was told that i was a bit quiet so i've adjusted my sensitivity how's this you uh, sound fine to me i like it all right good quick all right, all right, three weeks have passed. This morning, Captain Whitlock has uh, has received a simple memorial service. Her body was consigned to a necropolis train bound for the, the serene mausoleum. Now you sit with a handful of her relatives in the threadbare offices of her solicitors. The, uh, the methodical notary is reading the will. 
The captain was wealthy once, but squandered her capital on mysterious expenses before her expedition to the Blue Kingdom. And... Listen to the end. The captain's relatives, from whom she was mostly estranged, are clearly wondering why you're here. In a final codicil, Captain Whitlock has confirmed that uh, that possession of the Orphean was to pass to its first officer. He peers at you with gray, dry gray eyes. This includes a certain black box contained in the Orphean's hold. Captain Whitlock's final request was that, at a time of your choosing, you transport said box to an address in London. It gives you an address card and deposit it there. You are not to look inside. She gave no explanation. All right. Take it to London as requested, or you can sell it and be done. Well, I'm never, I've never been, I've been one to fuck with a, di a dying woman's di uh, last wish because that is some seriously bad juju in the in this universe. Damn. Bad juju in any universe, you mean? Yeah, I mean, the bad juju has a has a tendency to come back and uh, come back and haunt you in this universe. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd consider the batter juju being stealing something from the land of the dead, but... Huh. Officer requires well, that's, a sign That's her, man. Fee. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Especially if, if you... Before you actually click him, uh... If, Too there late. You go. <laughs> well, no, you did the thing I was going to tell you to do, is just hover over the picture of the sovereigns. Yeah, so. yeah, always, always, always figure out exactly how much money you're spending before you spend it. That's uh, an annoying thing you can't do with the controller. It drives me up the wall. All right then. Uh, I'll crash a week. <laughs> Prepare your locomotive. Oh, well, it's already there. it's already taken care of. Hire on crew. I'm still oh, I'm still one over half, so that's fine. Well, you probably want more in case someone gets killed. Yeah, six, six yeah, is right, your minimum fair. safe Manning number. Five is, uh, is shouldn't be. No. In this case, it's six. In this case, it's six. Okay. So, all, his crew yeah, of the it, loose end will hire some of the turncoats clue as replacements. Nobody else will have them. Okay, cool. Now, that filled up my, uh, my crew score. Fantastico. Nice. Alright, well, let's explore the city. An opportunity. Learn about trading. Let's, uh, uh go ahead and do that. It's similar to the background of Ober Oberdin, but not quite the same. <laughs> I am not oh. touching that fucking box. I, I like I I saw what that did to the uh, the Ober Den. Just there are certain th <laughs> there are certain thing uh, things, in, particularly in the fallen London universe, that are simply be a better not messing with. And if somebody gives you a nondescript gray box and says, "Don't look in it," it's probably one of those things. Just you know. <laughs> <laughs> I I I've seen your game and look in it. There's definitely a real a real argument to be had for for curiosity but i am not messing around there all right curiosity anyway, killed the anyway. cool guy again or this, killed someone else this is the promise of days at new winchester to learn of a profitable trading aspect well always use money the promise of days inquire okay so the smoggy clanking stamping thronging frantic heart of the reach an ever-expanding port, uh, port of soot smudged glass and bright steel spilling across a drifting, mist-wrapped archipelago. Its factories thunder. Its engine sheds ring with hammers and hiss with steam. Locomotives chug into sightings for repair or flare across the sky away to the high wilderness. So let's fig figure out the promise of day. I really need. I need to. I really need to make that make that go away so I can see what's going on over here. Uh, you can hide it. <laughs> yeah, no. I, that, that's basically what uh, what I did. I was trying. I was trying flashing. to. Anyway, um, introduce yourself to seasoned captains. You have not yet their acquaintance. Go elsewhere. Just first, acquaint uh, yourself with seasoned captains. Okay, fine. Yeah, um, it's th this is where you're going to learn basically the central way to make to make money. So, or we're gathered at the usual table: the masked citizen, a libertine, polymath, and pioneer from the neo-nocturnal artistic school; the bedeviled didact, a scholar haunted by his discoveries; the plucky baroness, explorer, collector, philatelist I don't know how to pronounce that word; and spatchcocker Meg, who hunts monsters. Of course, everything out there is jolly dangerous, says the baroness. Few risk disguise, so news of distant ports is valuable. Like port reports from the places you deliver. Deli uh, and deliver them to Victory Hall or a company house. The more you turn in at once, the more they'll pay. 
but for other opportunities across the way, uh, along the way, passengers who want transport, rich men in need of bloody work, etc. Philatelist, uh, Philatelist. Stamp okay, cool. Uh, and then ask them how to make your fortune through trade. Ah, Sorry, the this is how you make money. <laughs> yeah, ah, the didact says, fiddling with his innumerable talismans. An essential topic. Meg slides you a stool. Ask away. How can you buy or sell goods? You can sell, not buy, any trade good at a major port. Lesser ports sell a single good. Okay, so ba uh, basically this uh, this ends up uh, this ends up w uh, working w uh, working a little bit li uh, like like um, the old Machiavelli the Prince uh, the the Prince games, where very frequently you are, uh, you are going to uh, you are going to leave your your primary trade hubs uh, hubs empty and come back full. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, buying directly from a port's shop is a usually they game. sell. Yeah, usually those will sell just for you know buying price. Mm -hmm. What you want to get though is bargains. Right. And that'll well, be the yeah, next section. Buy low, you sell high. Prospects and bargains. Yet. The mass citizens ships their drink. The biggest port in each region has a bazaar where captains do business. There you'll learn of people and other ports prepared to pay uh, pay over the odds for a commodity. When you accept the commission for a prospect, it's yours. No other captain will uh, will pursue it. It's all fantastically civilized. You'll have to source the goods yourself, of course. Find a port that exports them. The client will need a certain amount. You can supply some or all of it, but if you provide all they need, they may furnish you with an additional rewards. Okay, so... All right. That's basically where I get where I get the trading contracts that uh, that I actually care about. Yeah, um, they'll they'll be like, I need five hours, and I'll pay like market price and a half for them. And then if you get all of them, they'll give you like bonus experience or other nonsense. Except the seeds to Magdalene's pro uh, prospect. Notice that Magdalene's needs an urgent delivery of seeds, paying a pretty penny to. If I were you, I'd get to the bazaar straight away. Put my mark against it. Leans. Yep. Claim it. Okay, great. And then... And, so like they mentioned... Three sacks of verdant to... seeds. More and seeds. Flowers for Titania wants another five sacks of verdant seeds. So... Yeah. I'm gonna want... I'm so, gonna need both of them. Then fine. Get both of them. So, so the thing uh, that you... So you need a total of eight sacks, but yeah, correct, at the same yeah, time, correct. how much inventory space do you have on your in your locomotive? I'm uh, we, yeah, it's, uh, I'm at six of twelve right uh, right now. That uh, that that already includes my uh, my fuel and supplies, though. So you know, like pull uh, pulling on uh, pulling on eight sacks is not uh, is 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 more than I'm I'm going to realistically be able to put into one load but once I understand where uh, where I'm finding verdant seeds from I can just I can make a couple of trips it's fine I'm not really that worried about yeah. it Mad so dash back and forth so the other thing to keep in mind and this is something that you ended up missing it was one of the other conversation options I'm just gonna summarize sure. is that um, you notice where you went to the bazaar there um, in uh, New Winchester. Every other port has a has a. Oh, pardon me, has a bazaar. Those bazaars don't give you contracts. What they'll do instead is they will offer they will occasionally offer you items at a discount. Mm. So they mentioned that Port Avon is currently selling uh, verdant seeds at a discount. So if you buy them there, and then go to Magdalene's to sell them, you're actually making even more profit. I see. So the trick is to find places to buy low, and if you again, if they're inside of a contract you have, then even then more is the better. But even if they're not, you can still come back here to New Winchester to sell them off for some profit. And similarly, if you buy commodities elsewhere for a contract, you'll end up selling them for some profit. Sure. Sorry, I saw a name, Crowned Misery. Like Don't worry about The crown of misery yards are where you repair your vessel. Alright, let me see here. Excuse me, Captain. A woman pushes through the crowds towards you. She is short and square-shouldered in a neat black suit with polished shoes. She shows you 
The case of her pocket watch it is embossed with a crown and hourglass of London's horological office. The body responsible for ensuring time is consistent across the Empire. I'm hoping to book passage to Port Prosper. I can, of course, pay. Pay is always good. Okay, great. Yeah, so... The Prosper lies east of, of, New, of New Winchester. So, all right, yeah. So that it, it's basically the, the same sort of sort of half-hearted directions that uh, that Sunless Seas gave you. Yep. All right. Um, cool. That's that. I am not and investigating much like the Sunless Sea. You have to find everything. <laughs> Say what again? And much like Sunless Sea, you have to you have to find everything. Nothing set. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Thankfully. Thankfully this game improves on using cardinal directions to navigate because you start in the fucking center. Yep. Speaking of, you will eventually go to other areas. Spoilers. Minor spoilers. Uh, the major port in every area is dead center of the map. I'm saving you an enormous amount of heartache. Trust me. I believe that. <laughs> this game seems like it'd be the kind of game that without that it would become an existential nightmare to search every corner. Yeah, no, it, yeah, it, it, it'd be fucking sea. insane. That was basically yeah. Sunless Sea, yeah. There were like, like until until you under uh, you understood what parts of what parts of the Neath stayed uh, stayed static. Like Sunless Sea was a was a gut wrenching problem. Yeah, there's yeah, it's the same idea as you have a couple of touchstones. It's just the maps are broken up. And the touchstones are the only static part. It's like the castle, King Gitter Castle. Yeah, in in this in this it is the uh, the 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 central port, which is dead center of the map, is the. I I, I wasn't gonna put an asterisk on this about the size of Saul, the only maps t map touchstone in the in the game. You know, yeah, cool you guy, know, you are going to absolutely fucking hate me you know, for the next 30 seconds. What's up? I was just doing a uh, submarine gank over an AL and I ended up getting an Akagi drop. Womp womp. Yeah. Um, terror is more or less the same. Don't let it get to 100. Bad things happen. However, it won't instantly kill you. Not anymore, at least. I remember yeah. that was a thing though. Right? It, it can if you're it really probably got a will. Check no, they were friendly. Oh, they were. Yeah, they were. Okay, well, uh, uh, just run, just run, run away. Right. Uh, uh, room a zoom okay. zoom. But yeah, if the you'll look for, well, the the bad trains will look like the train, the first train you fought, basically. Yeah. Basically, the easiest way you, you can tell if a train's hostile on sight is if they make some kind of loud sound at you and the lights on their sides turn red. Yep. Got it. Yeah. Anyways, these are the Tackities. They're anti-London rebels. Well. So why precisely were, uh, am, I, am I not murdering him? Because it's, if they're not rebels right, so there. much as they're He's an independence off. movement. Yeah. They, they want to be self-governed. London is nowhere near here. You have to go through what is essentially a, like, gate from Mass Effect in order to get to London. Um, except that it's powered by the correspondence, because of course it's powered by the correspondence. Uh, so, they're so far away, and yet they, they, imp they impose London's laws and London's edicts on the area. The Tacketys do not appreciate this. It's essentially well, Space America in some of the skies. Yeah, sort of. Uh, and there will also be, eventually you'll find the stovepipes, who are the London loyalists, more or less. Yeah, they'll they'll be the big. That's a bad us. guy. Yeah. And look out, pirates! Space pirates! Oh, the second one. Train pirates! Train pirates! Train space pirates! Or space train space pirates! Space pirates! Good train robbery is always a good scene. <laughs> oh, that's true. What about one where you get sandwiched between two trains that can fly? Ugh, well, then you're kinda fucked. I would think, who guys dodging is on point so far? Yeah, true. Well, dodging true. is okay, he just can't aim worth shit. 
<laughs> I'd be hard pressed to aim with this too. It yeah, looks I mean, really Oh like... no, you don't get away from me, you little punk ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Take a swing at the king, you best not miss. Ah, hell's breath! I'm overheated. It'll happen. One down. Ah, early game train combat. So intense. Yeah, don't worry, you'll get different guns in time. Oh god, you mean yes. good guns. Yeah. Guns oh, that man. fire differently as well. I can't wait until he gets the tears. My favorite weapon in this game. Let me see here. The crew of the Marauder lie dead in the corridor, killed not by your guns, but small knives and small arms fire. The only survivor is the captain, locked in, in the brig with a bottle of brandy. Chalk eyes stare back from every wall. When he ran out of chalk, he began scraping them in with his fingernails. Little remains of them but bloody stumps. Seen this before, captain, says a crew member, grasping your arm. Sky madness. Magdalene's can treat it. You can be bothered to take the poor sod. Well, I'm heading towards Ma uh, Magdalene's anyway, ain't I? Yeah, eventually. If you can find it. Sky Madden Captain, I, I now have tales of uh, a tale of terror. All right, may gain some illusional color. Gain hull. I want what's in the hold. Yeah, your hull's fine. Uncanny specimen. Question: Just yep. grinding against ground? Yes. Quote unquote. Well, grinding, no. Hitting, yes. Okay. So yeah, if you ram so space first, it deals damage, but just, like, rubbing up against it while dodging doesn't do it. Yeah. No. So basically, as long as you're not going fast. Um... Train, you're always fast. <laughs> Relatively. Uh, whoa! Uh... What? But, no, it's just that the, the one time you dodge, like that one, you... Dodge towards the shot, just barely. I, I knew, I knew what I was doing. Like I'm all, I'm all, I've already got, I got a fairly decent idea of how, uh, of of how much my dodge helps. Seek Fair unusual enough. items. My iron give, uh, gives me, gives me 99% of chance of success, or I can just always get seek unusual items. Yep, that uh, definitely seems to be a thing to me. No, I'm gonna. I, Salon another spoiler. Dude, gossip. <laughs> so useful. Um. The sovereign payout for looting these marauders is negligible. All right, so choose a facet and grow stronger. You get two stats. The first one you see is the stat, is the big stat, and then you get a choice of two little stats. I see. Okay, so spell in prison, interlude in red and gold, scandal. Well, let's go ahead and get better at what we're good at. I'd say. What is it that I nearly would killed going you? For mirrors, personally. Huh? I would personally recommend going for mirrors. But... Uh, I'm ba I'm basically going uh, going iron first, mirrors second. So yeah, an attempt on my yeah, life gives me thirty and twenty. Yep. There's a bullet scar beside your heart. You have learned since. To Fastidious inspector <laughs> approaches you in the galley. Captain, good day. I notice your skips uh, your ship's clock has stopped. Perhaps you'd permit me to repair it. Sure. That is literally your job. Oh. That's important. You remember how I was saying that time got crystallized? Yeah. Yeah, time's fucky. Yeah, no, um, that's, uh... You can, you can literally use hours to compress time within a space. Yeah. It's true. Like, an, like a year within the space is like a week outside of it. There's, there's an entire section you'll find eventually later on called the Bravazon Work Worlds, where basically it's a... Well, it's a workhouse. Uh, where it's constantly at, like, triple speed. So you go in, and, or, like, it's even more than that, but, like, you go in, and um, it's just, it runs fa way faster than actual time, so you'll come out, like, 50 years old, and it's been, like, a year outside. Um, but the, the horologists, the royal horologists, um, have the endless and daunting task of trying to maintain time sync between London and everywhere else because of all the weird fucky time 
Yeah, I'm. Uh, wh while we're talking about this, I'm not. I'm not going to dictate the uh, the conversation that uh, that we're having, but I'm. I'm reading through it. Yep. the the ta The takeaway here, of course, is just is just that the um, that the is more or less what uh, what you guys uh, you guys are saying. The horologists have uh, have a having an incredibly an incredibly difficult and incredibly critical job. I mean, technically critical. Depends on how much you care about London. Huh. Ours have more uses than that. We use them to increase the, the efficiency of work worlds, to speed journeys to distant re uh, regions, to resolve overcrowding in prisons. It does make my life more difficult when time knots and stretches like wool on the loom. More difficult, but more vital. Her Majesty seized a great trove of them when she assumed the throne of ours. Now she has even more of them found in the Reach. Miners dig, for, they dig them from the ground. I hope someday to retire with a modest pension of years myself. Prolong the better part of my retirement. Alright, well, yeah. I'm going to compliment her skills. I'd Thank imagine you. a big statement that would put you away from London would be to keep a different time than them. Uh, yeah. Intentionally so, at least. That's the, the important thing. Yes. Chugger, 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 well, does it say due east or does it say north by northeast? Or it simply said, said east. east. Then try and stick try and stick as close to lateral east as you that can. That is precisely what uh, what I uh, what I was attempting to do, and we just we just ran I ran into a land mass that uh, that yeah you're still mostly east. Yeah, just flick out your scout every now and again. Yeah, that's the other thing. Use your I'm scout. I'm low on supplies. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but you have crew. They're edible. Oh, that is the thing. Uh, if you run out of supplies, you can eat your crew. If you run out of fuel, Hello. you are dead. Yeah, because space is cold. Space is indeed cold. Something grave. 20% All shall be well. Yeah, alright. And the dead. Error has fallen. Yeah. Ow, morning bags. Uh, yeah. You ran into it. Yeah, I ran. I ran into the Hulk. Now there's another one. Yeah, I saw it. Let me see here. Sixty percent chance of success, and now let's try. Uh, let's try to open them up with my iron. Sixty percent is a decent chance, and I got it. Better Great. Enough. Your driver holds the locomotive steady along the re alongside the wreck as your crew takes turns at the pry bar. Eventually, the bay doors are sufficiently parted to permit the spryest of you to squeeze through. Soon they return. What is this they have found? Aromatic casket. Something has been preserved. How do you buy tea? <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be sunless without it, right? It's always time for a bit of tea. Always time that... for a spot of tea. That is a very important resource, and you should hold on to it. Well, hope, uh, hopefully I will... Uh, hang on, hang on. Quiet for a moment. Yep, I thought I heard that. There's combat I over have... here. Yeah, uh, it's probably the Tachydes fighting it. A... Well, it might not be the Tachydes fighting it. I mean, that looks like a big fat load of not my fucking problem, so, uh. That, oh my right god! On. Oh, you found a dreadnought! Well done. Oh, there's something. Oh, you must be right by. Hulk. It's another Hulk. Requires yeah, a saying. I don't have it. So. Oh, yeah, that's. The, it's a special thing. You're, you must be, like, either right by. Magdalene? You must be by Port Prosper, actually. I was gonna say you're like near Port. Yeah, that's Port Prosper right there. 
be super awesome if I could figure out uh, figure out where uh, where to dock at Port Prosper. Uh, keep going. It's it's a little bit further in. If you press, if you do your scout, you'll see it. I see part of the part of the uh, the issue with that is um, when I was using my uh, when I was figuring out how to use my scout, I was using my uh, my uh, my oh. what is it called? Don't, don't worry about that too much. You can literally buy supplies anywhere. No, that oh. is that isn't what I was referring to. I literally do not know how to use my scout with my keyboard because uh, because I was using the F F. Fantastic. F. F for find things, please. Lovely. F for fucking find the thing, please. And there's some there's something further uh, further to the east of Prosper. Well, let's oh, that's dock that's here. The, that's the uh, that's the, the relay. Yeah, the relay. Thank you to get to uh, Albion, which will eventually lead you to London. Uh, is controller the best way to run this game, or is keyboard best? If your controller works, unlike cool guys, controller is usually the better way. I found the one small problem with a uh, controller is that you can't hover and inspect a story element like that little silhouette of the dudes in there. Um, but I've always found the controller tends to feel easier to use personally, just because, well, in order to fire, you have to click your mouse, but you can't aim with your mouse, which is weird and so yeah that that's a little bit uh that's a little bit anti-logical but whatever anyway you know like i i delivered the uh i delivered the uh, the fastidious inspector which handily solved both uh, both my my fuel and my food problem let me see here ask the horse foreman what they need what exactly do you need you're building the fancy new clock Bronze wood, one consignment. They sell it at Trader's Wood at Polymere and Plenty's, I hear, and a gourd of co uh, chorister nectar too. This bunch of work shy ingrates need constant shouting at, and my voice has given up the ghost. <laughs> so nectar should have me bellowing again like a champion. Carillon's your best bet there, or Titania, the flower town. We'll pay like. Yep. Let me see here. Do I have? Yes, thank you. Um, okay, cool. I do have a, jour a journal that will keep me sorted out yes. there. And Lord understand. knows you will need it. There are like a, like a hojillion stories. Yep. This is sort of why I was suggesting going merciful is because, you know, it's a lot of a lot of options. There's a lot of chance of death. This this has a roguelike mode because it's a sunless game. But it doesn't feel like a roguelike, right? You know, in in C's, I absolutely did uh, did not uh, did not mess with anybody for going merciful in that game because uh, because sunless the C's could just be absolutely unforgiving with uh, with just dick slapping you out of nowhere with uh, with with death. You sail right out of port into a lifeboat, essentially. Yep. Yeah, oh, something God, like lifeboat. that. All right, so the factories continue to belch out smoke, blah, 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 wonderful. I wrote a port report, yay. Um, attend a parade. I love a parade. All right, gaudy banners fly over the painted rooftops of Port Prosper. The smog of the East End is hidden away by giant posters displaying dragons in various degrees of vivisection. Cramped streets are clogged with people. Wealthy West Enders promenade about the amusements while impoverished East Enders work in the stalls huddled by chestnut fires for warmth. In a dragon pursued by uh, by knights is chased through the crowds to a chorus of Ho! The writing! I can... Okay, so I can, I can mingle with rich people, poor people, or everybody. Everybody! Nah, hang out with the poor people. They're the cooler ones. The, you are treated as a curiosity and viewed from all sides with suspicion. Still, you find yourself in a conversation with an elderly colonel who has retired to Port Prosper. A bulwark of insanity, he calls it, a line in the sand against all the stuff out there. He introduces you to one of the riders in the procession who takes you on a tour of the carnival. You converse with the chestnut sellers and flower arrangers, drink in the outdoor pubs, and you dance with several of the vaudeville players. At the end of the day, you've learned many names and faces and even acquired a few calling cards. Cool. Calling cards are very useful. Continue. 
There you go. Yep. Take T at Admiral Nelson. Now go for T. Unlock, we have amusements on Port Prosper. All right, sure, why not? Um, so 30%, 30%. The Admiral Nelson is Port Prosper's exclusive little tea house. West Enders congregate here to sit among the uh, the many little tables of ornamental shepherds and bulldogs and drink tea and little saucers with her renewed majesty's face on them. The Admiral Nelson is so exclusive, in fact, that it only opens occasionally and never does something so crass as advertised. People know of it by word of mouth, initially at least. Afterwards, most Prosperians join the queue. I, I do not fancy my... Uh, my chances of hitting a 30% success here. And I need to Okay, yeah, basically I need I need to be I need to be more chill to avoid those 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 things. So I'm just going to chill on that for now. Yeah, probably for the best. I mean, there will always be options uh, opportunities later. Mhm. Mm but like these these sorts of stories in in both Fallen London, the browser game, and in Sunless Seas, always hung out a uh, hung out for you. Like, oh, you know, um, they would always really chill quick. out. But do yourself a favor and click your hat off on the side there. Uh, which hat? Where? I think I missed on it. the on the side menu. On the side menu, you see the the captain's hat. Oh, that hat. Okay, yes. Great. Uh, I forgot wanna... to assign assign my uh, my chief engineer. Good call. Yeah, uh, that, that should give you some more hearts, which might help with uh, that storylet. Eh, it's only two. I sincerely doubt it. We can take a look though. That probably won't help a huge amount, but it'll help a bit. Collie cards. Um, I mean, it's not a physical item, so it's it's more along the lines of like you have somebody's yeah. card. You know what I mean? Business card. Uh, Again, it gave me you, gave me an extra six percent, but that's not if enough. If you fail, if you fail, it, it I, I don't think that one goes away permanently. I think that's the thing that keeps recurring. So even if you fail, you me. Okay, one way to Lustrum. Thank you kindly by Jove. It's my, my time to finally see the frontier. Where is Lustrum? Did you not actually give, uh, give me directions to Lustrum? Of course not. Oh my they god. They expect you to know. These motherfuckers. You'll find it, eventually. Yeah, it's, it's not something I'm at, I'm actually that worried about. It's just, it's just, ugh. Alright, let's see yeah. here. Um, she has a first officer, she increases my mirrors, and... Hearts. And hearts, and she costs 100 sovereigns to... Sign on. Sign on. That's probably worth it. I mean, she is a princess. I'm a humble first officer looking for... What's the word? When commoners do things for coins? Work. That's it. <laughs> she beams at you, delighted, innocent as a Gatling gun. As she steps forward, the com uh, commoner calmly takes a spoon from his pocket and scoops out his eyes. After such radiance, all else is tawdry, he says in between screams. <laughs> Seems she has already forgotten about her signing on money. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is th this is this is definitely a sunless game. All right. <laughs> I love her. To, I love this game. <laughs> it's it's oh, you it's, know, just casually ripping out my own eyes with a spoon. It's fine yeah. because it's so it's, be just so beautiful that nothing else compares. So I might as well just get it over with now, right? It's horror for the sake of humor, and I love it. I swear to Christ, that is so incredibly sunless. Parsimonious so chairman has rook f uh, work for ruthless captains. He sits behind his imported mahogany desk, a decanter of brandy in his left hand, and a s uh, stack of neatly series of neatly stacked reports to his right. Fire has been lit in the cavernous hearth. It is too warm. What do you want me to do? I am a pu I was a pugilist back in London, a young man's game. This place exists because of constant work from the politicians who planned it, to the pioneers who built it, to the soldiers who even today defended against the tactite. I, I don't know. I, I'm still screwing up that uh, that word. It's after midnight, so whatever. Um, you hunt the tackety lo uh, locomotives and provide their nameplates for the Parsiniumist chair uh, chairman. Okay, so basic basically the dudes that I, uh, that, I was, that I was shooting early on, he wants them. 
We'll do no such thing right now because I have no idea how uh, how much um, how much I'm going to be back here. Uh, Wait, quite a bit. Well, <laughs> then I then I will I will be back I will be back to talk to him when I have a couple more of those nameplates. Well, you well, need the quest to get the nameplates, and that's a blank you want to shoot Tackities. Yeah, it's it's it, he's basically asking you to choose a side in a war. Right. Well, I'll I'll hear I'll hear I'll hear out the Tackities and see uh, see how they're go uh, going to to compensate me first. You can always say you'll be back when you have bigger guns. Yeah, like that, I, this is yes. Again, you know, I mean, like like I I do not feel uh, feel the need to rush into storylets in this game. Mm, All right, it's um, uh, you've got time. Unless you blow up, then you no longer have time. You have hours, you could say. <laughs> Swear to Christ, this guy. All right, new clock tower. What do we got here? Oh, right. I've already spoken to these people. All right, and away we go. So, oh, fun bit of trivia: a, a chorister the... is a member of a choir. So the chorister nectar, made by chorister bees. Um, yeah, it's for singing, mm -hmm. and the bees sing dock here and yeah actually dock please remain in the reach bribe the superintendent to give you a travel permit which i'm not going to be able to do i don't have enough money to do anyway there's nothing to do here okay cool yeah you want to that's all good i i just i just yeah. want i just want i wanted to see wanted to see if like do i make a port report is there something else that, uh, that i need to worry about about here answer uh, no let's no. let's keep let's keep rolling those relays are how you change maps basically. yeah 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 uh no they're, they're no 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 the bees and they're, they're they're not better than the bees in some of the sea <laughs> well actually no that's not true they are better than the bees in some of the sea yeah they don't make red honey red honey is a much different thing well, yeah. Well, they don't make prisoners honey either. Oh yeah, that's what it was called prisoners honey. What's my journal look like? Well, uh, no, there was prisoners honey and there there was red honey. It's two different right. things. Right, right. Both of them put all bees inside the head, though. Uh, no. Uh, oh. one of them. No, red honey doesn't actually involve them going in the head. It's like they just pull from your dreams gently. Whereas, like, Red Honey was like, they New ripped Winchester. out your memories. East of New Chester. Okay, cool. So if I, if I veer north, it, uh, it'll, it'll put me in the, it'll put me in the general area I need to be to find... Magdalens. Yeah, find Magdalens. Which, yeah, I need to go there for a, co a couple of, couple of reasons anyway. So, we're heading north and still aggressively ignoring that fight. <laughs> that is not uh, my yeah. problem. You will continue to ignore that fight probably for quite some time. <laughs> that is a big fat load of not my problem. Oh, but don't worry, there will be plenty of them. The, that is that is one of the reasons why uh, why I'm so happy to ignore that particular problem. It's because I know that I will have plenty of them in the context of this game. Yeah. Lots of people who want to become your problem. Who the hell is this? That looks bad. Oh, that's attack me, Scout. Okay. He's fine. All right. Look for the red. Oh, that's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Holy nutsack! Yep, he's he's ta uh, taking a hits at, taking Whoa. some hits at me. He oh, has that's... guests. Come on, you son of a bitch! Oh no! Ah, I don't know what happened to that one. Uh, well, guests are wriggling eel-like creatures that inhabit ships and then um, reproduce so rapidly that the crew Whoa. inside can keep up and will eventually be crushed against the walls. And then they mean... continue to reproduce and then they'll fire Get out of my more face, please. And then they'll fire more guests at you in an attempt to inhabit your ship. Yeah, I've I took a hit from one of them. No, you're fine. Well, you're I mean in Come on, baby. No, no. Okay, great. Got it. It's fine. So I took. <laughs> I'm on. I'm. I'm taking. I'm taking hull damage from uh, from dodging. You shouldn't be. I, I definitely just took. I uh, just took hull uh, hull damage. 
from something there. It's the explosive properties of the enemy shots. You were practicing. I see. Oh no. Are you are you trying to run away from this? No, Tackety ships. Tackety ships move really weird. Well, because they're like cheap pieces of shit locomotives. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Brittany, there are a lot of things in the Sunless games that should not exist. It, just a lot of things. Yeah, and they're not really too perturbed by the concept. Oh, buddy. That's yeah, quite a headwind. Stuck on the terrain for you. Yeah, he. What? What should not exist is, is something of a, of, of a gentle s suggestion in uh, the Sunless games. Uh, for a full second, I thought you were about to get shotgun. Right. Oh, he's getting the, it's, the, it's the, the ship's on fire. That's yep, good. no, he's almost had it. Couple more shots. Oh, yes, I remember the, the, uh, and what was it? Ah, uh, oh, crap, I just got shotgun. The constant companion, that was it. Oof. There's 90% of your health gone. Now I'm, now I'm, get, I'm getting hit by that one dickhead from behind. Oh, All right, one great. down. Great. Nice. There you go. And the last thing is... You just need to hit like once more. You're fine. Lose terror, uh, lose terror, or repair your hull. Yeah, definitely repairing my hull. Yep. I. Yeah. Also, in some cases, you can even take guests, and if you have enough, you can do it. You a can thing. make. You can make your own gun to shoot guests. Because you know you're some kind of monster. I mean, there's plenty of strange weapons. There's Mine, you punk-ass bitch. There's a literal I, glass cannon. I love the Tears of the Arstalet. Alright, let me see here. The Cantankery are lumbering, half-fossilized isopods that will attack anything they disapprove of. Given that they are very ancient and murderously grumpy, that means almost everything. Corpse of the Cantankeri has neatly sheared, creating cross-section of its internal arrangements. So... Uh, bas uh, basically, I can try to get try to get stuff from his body, and failed a failed an eighty six percent chance. That's fantastic. Feels like XCOM. Yep. Oh, you lost That's... a crew too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No. If you take if you take enough damage, you will lose crew. Kind of crappy, but that's what it is. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, lose oh, terror. are you in the peacock wind? Is is that the peacock wind? Yeah, I mean it's it's quite a headwind. Oh no, there's there's a, a particular kind of wind where if you're in it, as long as you're in it, you gain terror, but your supplies increase as well. Um, basically, the peacock wind is. Oh no, you're just near a horror. Okay, that's what that hand print is. Also, the the gem that you're seeing is that giant glowy rock. Um, Mining. Right. Yeah, I, I need I need something to uh, to uh, to allow for allow for mining, and I don't right now. I just made a note a note of it, and I will I will be back sometime before I die. I'm sure. Yeah. Another enemy. Um. Oh, samurai goomba. Hello. And I. Um, yeah. Now these guys, uh, cool guy and robot guy, are pretty damn legit. Hey, Samurai Goomba. I'm ha happy you could come along with us tonight. Welcome to a tale of horror and humor. Come Humorous on, you horror. bastard. Are you dead yet? Oh, shit. Oh, that shit. A oh, that's a lot of things happening right there. I'm just going to... Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. This this just... Oh, it's a Star Man Explorer 2. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, no, this is... This is... Ow! God damn it! Pieces of shit! I need to get out of here, and I need to get out of here now. Ugh, oh, hell's breath. Okay. Cantankery just... Out of there. Yeah, the Cantankery just broadsided me twice. Yeah. 
Remember that side dashing is faster than yeah. Ooh, buddy. So if you... Oh man. Oh man, this area is so dangerous. I'm willing to believe that the Star Bandit Explorer is having a worse time of it than you, though. I mean, oh, yeah, no, that no, was, that's just a Marauder. <sighs> the Star Madden Explorer fucked off somewhere. <laughs> the Marauder's almost dead. Yeah. Also realize Magdalene's that holy nutsack. You don't have you any burden of feeds yet, but it's still good to know where this is, and you have to drop that one guy. Yeah, off, no, so. there's a there's a dude that uh, that, I, that I need to drop off here. And, and shit, repair. after after all of the, after all of the, all, after the beating I just took, I am more than happy to just take a break for a second. Yep. So, you remember how supplies and fuel were more or less your leash to London uh, back in Sunless Sea? Sure. In Sunless Skies, it's your hull. Uh, your right. hull can only be repaired in a major port, for the most part means going back to... Oh, you, you could buy things here, so you might want to, like, the uh, the bazaar they have something to sell, you might want to see if they have burden seeds to sell, because no, sometimes why, they, they do that, and it's great. Bargains available, they do have ministry-approved literature. I mean, that's still money. Yeah, you can sell that back in New Winchester. I'm, like, and I do definitely need to head back to New Winchester sooner rather than later, I just got mangled. Alright, well... First things first, let's deliver the Sky Madden Captain. Write a port report. Never not write a port report. Yeah, no, that's a thing you should do. That's a, it's a hundred sovereigns per. Also, it will help. You, it will require you choose a side. Oh, it doesn't require you choose a side. All right. So, let's meet with the amenable host. An attendant escorts you through the dazzling violet corridors. The host door, a red door, is always open. The attendant leaves you just as the clock begins to chime. The amenable host reclines on a couch of crushed velvet, a goblet of sparkling wine in his long fingers. Somewhere in the tower above him, the great clock ticks away. Policy: The host's atrium is always open to guests. He is available to hear opinions, friendly criticism, and suggestions. Today, he has a headache. Listen to the amenable host's request. What do you want me to do? Um, his voice is soft and sibilant, like butter melting in a candlelight. Guest al uh, has become rather too attached to a particular attendant. He always has requests. Uh, he always requests the same attendant to appear in the exact same guise. The amenable host's Lip curls in distaste. He reiterates the aim of Magdalene's place of healing and respite, not meant to feed obsession or self-indulgent self-loathing. His guest brings sickness. Would have him purged. I have a dossier on our guest if you're interested in helping. Let me see here. Eat the Lacrimos guest's dossier. Lacrimos, I believe. Eh, whatever. So glad you want word. to help. When new is needed. Treat your nightmares, treat your terror. I'm good on both. Yep. So finding new ports finding new ports actually tre uh, treats your terror pretty well. Mm-hmm. You lose a bunch. And welcome truth. Move a difficult guest from it. Ah, here we are. Um Let's speak with an attendant first. Soon call as nest is visiting a friend. An attendant in the foyer schedules appointments with the aid of a hefty daybook and a very accurate clock. They are eager to explain the procedures and rules that govern here. This is a hospital for the spirit. Our staff will become the person you need. Here you may say farewell to a doomed comrade, resurrect an old love, spar with a, a defeated enemy, all for a fair price. But do not overindulge. Our services are to heal, not become, uh, not to become an addiction. So let's talk to patients being discharged. Let's see what you have there. Ah, okay. So yeah, this is this is uh, based. Uh, this is basically the small uh, the small arcs of stories. This is what uh, this is one of the things that I've always really appreciated about the. Paul in London universe is that uh, is that there are many times where you are simply an observer, 
These are stories either too small or too big for uh, for your current arc, and and so all you can do is simply watch them happen. This is something that uh, that a lot of universes fail uh, fail to do a whole lot of. So it ends up feeling like the universe revolves around you, and it very much does not in the Fallen London universe. Oh boy, how it does, does not. not. All right, let's let's deal with this guest. Um. How do you plan to deal with him? A treatment chainer chamber has been emptied for you should you wish to adopt a guise from his past. Alternatively, he is standing right there. He does not seem to have noticed you. His eyes instead boring through the doors to, uh, to his treatment rooms. I can either approach this directly or disguise himself as his mother or his lover. I am, I am somebody who values his iron, so let's approach this directly. Has there been a problem? have indeed caused this poor sod enough trouble, so... Uh -huh. Has, the, has there been a problem? You invite him to sit. Stiff brandies are ordered. You recount your own share of heartbreaks and tragedies, how you found yourself here, and, how, and you make it clear that despite all of that, you will be leaving. He nods, he nods slowly, and after a quick shake of your hand, walks away towards the station. He does not look back. Well, that handled oh. that. Handled that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brittany tells us uh, lacrimose means tearful. There you go. Which makes sense. For better or worse, he will not be returning to Magdalene's. Uh, would you guys recommend Fallen London? Fallen Lo uh, London, the the browser game, is a browser game. By like, I mean, you, it's not it's not a game that you sit down uh, you sit down and you play for you play for a couple of hours and you drink it in. It's a game that you play. For fifteen minutes at a time, four time, uh, four times a day over the course of three to four months, you know, like like if that's something that uh, that that interests you, then yes, absolutely, go uh, go go get fallen, uh, go start playing Fallen London. It's it, uh, it benefits from the same uh, from the same writing style as the Sunless games, but if you're not the sort uh, the sort of person who uh, who clicks with uh, with browser games then don't you're you're just gonna waste your time uh yeah i mean i i'm gonna sort of i also played fallen london for just about a year um it is one of those games where it's it does feel like a browser game but the writing really does keep you going and you really you end up wanting to really see how things end out and because it's sunless uh, it's the uh the fallen london classical writing style where everything is extremely descriptive but also not very visually so so you end up filling in a lot of those blanks with your own your own imagination um <clears throat> pardon me if if you just if you like seeing interesting stories uh it's certainly something to to play around with for a while and it it is absolutely free so i figure give it a try right it's uh, that first taste right <laughs> go go hit up the new dealer it's it's uh it's always fun yeah anyway so the amenable host i admired your your discretion earlier you have uh, you have seen the dangers of our work upon those who abuse our service yet we are not immune to it ourselves my regulars have at various points requested that i be a prospector in lustrum heir to a very fine house in port prosper and a titan of industry at new winchester very specific requests and more i have vivid memory of being all three yet i uh, yet cannot be true surely he presses a locket into your hand this bears my image if see if anyone remembers me i cannot remember who i was before this if there would be anyone else i would like to know wonderful i'm actually i'm already go uh, going to going to be going to a lot of those places anyway all right eventually yes so... I have plenty of supplies and and fuel to uh, to make it back to New Winchester, so that's what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, whoops! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to dock. Well. It All right, dock and away we go. Here more people fighting to, uh, to the north, and that is a big fat load of not my problem. Oh god, they weren't fighting to the north. That's them right there. You guys just, uh, you guys keep doing you. Uh, Magdalene ah, sure. and Port Prosper tend to be heavily contested territory. Uh, 
I want to say Lustrum might end up also being mildly contested Oh territory. my god, I am not okay with this crossfire! <laughs> yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, London Dreadnoughts, they can be a bit scary to fight, but they have some really good stuff on them. Truth! Yeah, the Tackities are lightweights, but they're really dodgy. And they're a bitch. Hello, Tackity! Having flashbacks to an old game called Escape Velocity Nova, where you would occasionally just talk get caught in the crossfire between the multiple cats. Oh god, this motherfucker! Oh my god. Well, fuck. Oh shit. The, ta the Tackity uh... dodged into me and it murdered me. Oh. Cold takes you. The end. This is why you play on Merciless. Oh. Bullshit, you, pl uh, you play on that. Not all is lost. Three. Yeah, see, this this is this is what like I inherit a partial chart. I'll start at level three. You know, fine, whatever. <laughs> see, like like this is this is what this is what uh, part of uh, part of what uh, why I didn't worry about it. Yeah, fair enough. Dying this early is just not even yeah, worth worrying. Yeah, dying this dying this early is fine. It's when you've finally gotten your your yourself. You know the really really good dreadnought, and you've finally gotten all the way to uh, I don't know the cool I don't... guy. Well, the cool you, guy. Yeah, you, know, you you finally dragged yourself all the way to Eleutheria, and you're just like, oh, okay, this is great. And then a thing happens, and you're just like, you son of a bitch! All of it is gone. All of yeah. it is gone. Merciful mode is also handy for seeing some certain things that would normally be the end. Like, without any spoiling, one descriptor just says, This will kill you more certainly, perhaps, than anyone has ever been killed. <laughs> I remember that. I totally took that. Yeah. Because, you know, y you can't not. You can't not. Y y you you want it. You desperately need to know how one can be killed most certainly than any other way. <laughs> than uh, sorry, that any other person has ever been killed. All right, purchase the governor's manor. So I need five thousand so uh, sovereigns to get uh, to get through the first thing there. Now let's see journal. Yeah, that's that's just the first hoop. <laughs> Port Prosp okay, so still have I uh, still have that. Any other opportunities here in New Winchester? Uh, you should probably uh, it'll probably give you the same opportunities as before because yeah, the explore game the city, restarted. learn about trading, blah 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 blah. Let's click through this real fast. But you already know all about trading. Eh. Introduce yourself. Go. So, Make your fortune through trade, ask about prospects. It's wonderful. Here we go. Real affiliations, blah 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 blah. Perhaps not. Okay, so we go, seeds report Avon. Great, those are the same are the same ones. All right, I'm gonna fantastic. Post, I'm gonna post a thing in the Time Warriors Discord. Um, uh, it'll be spoilered, um, but I cannot wait until uh, Cool Guy encounters this. I am. Uh, I am not going to look at that. It. it yeah. It's. It's spoilered for precisely that reason. Okay. So. <laughs> right. Guess I'm going straight north. <laughs> yeah. It is a good thing that the constant companion's no longer a thing. Chugga 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 woo woo Oh hey. Uh flying Cthulhu? Yeah, there's a few flying terrible things. Uh those are places you drop off your port reports. Yep, I'm I'm just I'm just dro uh, dropping in real quick to make sure that is the only thing that is going on uh, going on here. Uh sometimes the bazaar has a thing to sell. Which is very quick money. You've used the Tackities, the col uh, colonists seeking independence from London. I really like the, the portrait of the Tack, uh, the Indurate veteran. Mm -hmm. She is she is a badass to end all badasses. Look at that scar. 
Uh, cool guy. Yeah. Cool guy. Uh, can I get your original opinion of when you very first heard that this game was flying space trains in Horrorland? I, 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 like, I had played Sunless Seas heavily at that point, so I was just like, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when somebody told me that there was a sequel to Sunless Sea where you played a flying, uh, a flying locomotive, I had a small happy accident in my pants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, an actual train? Like a flying train? I'm like, yeah. Dude, I need this insurance. game. I need this game perhaps more than anyone has ever needed a game. Okay, so ba so basically you turn in port reports at Victory Hall to side with the Tackities and you you turn in you turn in port reports at totally not the East India Trading Company to side with London. Got it. Yeah, pretty much exactly that. <laughs> yeah, and they're definitely the East India Trading Company. I mean, they're totally not. I mean, that that, that guy, is that is that is that is about as thinly veiled uh, thinly veiled as 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 a sultan's harem. <laughs> yeah, thinner <laughs> perhaps. Ooh, I'd like to look at that turret sitting on the side there. <laughs> I I apologize, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, like also one thing I want to say about this game in comparison to some of the sea, just just look at it. Oh yeah, I, no, this is this is an absolutely beautiful game. I love the backdrops, and they get- they only get better in later areas. Like, when you fu when- the first time you see the- the old sun, because it's still around. Oh, that's uh, a small detail I hadn't noticed before. What? The lighthouse is light. Your train yeah. blocks it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Also, a handy thing for navigation with your own light. If your light can pass under or over something, you won't hit it. Yep. Don't ram me, you stupid piece of shit! Jesus Christ, that's how I already, I already died once because uh, because you morons can't keep it in your yeah, fucking pants. Tackity can't drive. I have I, I know at least one person I used to oh, I I still hang out with but I can't I don't remember who the hell it is but uh, when they played oh you were at the circus um, when they played there they commented that they sided with the stovepipes exclusively because it would get the tackities out of the goddamn sky <laughs> I like they are they are definitely they they are definitely persuading me. To side similarly, like that is the that is the second time they've uh, they've nearly taken my head off. Polymer um, and Plenty's Circus. Let's see what these guys have. We're in town. If there yeah. was a way to make them drive better, if they would just home. not ram into me like uh, like that, I would already be a lot more positively disposed towards them. And a port report always do that. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Think of it as reflex training. They're trying to help you. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Gar, absolutely, that's that's a thing. Oh, this is the same this is the same um, circus. This is this is this is Mrs. Plenty's circus. She's just also uh, uh, hooked up with Mr. Polymer. Sure, fair so. enough. They visit the ticket booth. Well, whatever. I can afford ten sovereigns to, uh, to see what's going on here. Enter the big top, visit the amusements. <laughs> need two, you need two. Let's see what the big top is. I have Sky Story, it lowered my ter uh, terror. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Yeah? The greatest show. No one in the meager audience displays any enthusiasm, not even when the ringmaster th uh, thunders in on a horse drawn Calliope. Then come the acts themselves. Oh dear. <laughs> the humiliated magician's trapdoors fail to open, leaving his glamorous assistant noticeably unvanished. The bereaved acrobat swings from a single trapeze. The other uh, hangs lonely and unused. The pensive clown's fire chuckling hat. That's a disaster and not the humorous kind. The less said about the blind tamer, the better. He should recover. <laughs> uh, Where did they even find a lion up here? I don't uh, care. I'm just glad that they did. 
Well, see, every time you see a mention of a horse or a lion, I just want you to put quotes around it. <laughs> right, oh. This is the amusements. Uh, so I just lost... I, I, my terror just went back down to zero. At first glance, the circus is in poor shape. A second glance reveals how much worse things are than that. <laughs> try the battered mushrooms and realize why they have yet to take off as a beloved snack. <laughs> Tempting to dispose of the bag, you're d you duck behind a stall to find a pile of them already waiting. Another visitor pokes their head around. Is this where bags go? She has to deposit her own with the rest. <laughs> recognize your face fantastic <laughs> that is I, i'm good i'm good you know what like I, I, I that's that's fine i'm good for now i'll, I'll, I'll be back i'll be back another another time you have brought joy to my life mr circus by being so fucking awful <laughs> perhaps they know that you if once you become a more familiar face of the circus, you can actually work to improve it and make it something halfway decent. I, I am halfway. perfectly happy with leaving it a shit show for now. <laughs> a, a calliope is a weird musical a, a weird musical vehicle thing, also called the steam piano. I mean, Brittany, like I said, fucking MVP, this girl. Two big thumbs way up. Orkery Cove. Do I? No, this is a dead end. Yeah, whenever you hear the the, the that that circus theme that you you have heard a thousand times, it's usually played on a calliope. That one. I knew what I was talking about. I knew it. Cork. And are motherfuckers trying to ruin each other again? Always. Wait, it's pronounced Calliope? Yeah, I always thought it was pronounced Calliope. I bel well, it's a much, it's actually a very... Reach Marauder. Well, person. I haven't killed something in about, in, a, in about a two, three minutes, so let's get to work. Just don't accidentally shoot whoever he was shooting at. Yeah, it's the, the play. I'm, I'm yeah, being very calliope. careful to not fuck with Attackity. Well, see, that that circus theme you're, you 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 and I all know and love. It's uh, it's from back when uh, back when the word circus meant something entirely different. <laughs> cool. Got I got some fuel out of that. That was probably the easiest fuel I've run into in a while. It helps that he was shooting at someone else. Yeah. No. I, I th this is one of the one of the reasons why why I was like I'll get in on that. Freddy right, says mining, it whatever. uses. It uses locomotion pipes to make the songs for a given value of song. <laughs> and <laughs> the Croner says it was also the main instrument used on steamboats. I believe that is also true, yes. I mean, that makes a whole lot of sense because uh, because they were already using all, all of the... Uh, Same pipes. Yeah, all, so all of anything, the pipes that you would need for it. So if anything went wrong, you know, take apart the calliope, you now have spare parts. Uh, <clears throat> Homestead. Yeah. Yep. Settlers who live so far beyond the edge of civilization relish the hardships of solitude. They will fiercely defend their small territories, but occasionally welcome company and trade. So, uh, you sat down beside a cold, silent homestead. The windows are boarded, the door locked. The foliage in the garden hasn't grown wild. Abandoned in a hurry and recently. I have half a chance of success. I'm ready to roll Go those on. dice. And I actually got uh, got I actually got lucky for once in my damn life. The house it has been stripped happen. of its valuables, except for a dresser containing an apparently complete collection of blue glazed crockery. It is decorated with the saccharine scenes of old London. Shame to see it wasted. Got that. You can thank Patch the Pilot Radio Dramas for that for that tidbit. Neat. All right. So many mining opportunities. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's it would not be... necessarily a mining opportunity. There are some like uh, if you see random floating detritus, that's also a gem on the map. Ah, well, I probably should have gone back and checked that out. Whatever. We know uh, for next time. 
Yep. Yeah, I am. I, I like so many things. I am not worried about it. Oh, by the by, uh, once you get back to New Winchester, um, you can pick up that uh, the Royal Horologist again. Oh, good. I didn't. I didn't see her when uh, when we were messing so you around should earlier. Be able to, anyways. I could be wrong. Uh, has he count encountered any spectacles? Uh, no, not. Uh, I think you mean wonders, and no, not yet. Oh, hey, we found spectacles. Yeah, it, in there, you piece of on, crap. It was still on the map. One day you'll have a good train. All right. Yeah. Speak with an attendant. Yeah, same difference. Sorry, that's uh, not what I meant to do. He he's encountered a horror. He hasn't encountered a wonder yet. Low on supplies there. Fortunately, the host has many calls on this time. You're not yet. Oh, okay. oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, maybe those maybe those stories don't refresh anymore. It's been a while since I've played Legacy. <laughs> You may want to pick up another crater of supplies or two while you're here. Yeah, no, that I was, uh, I was thinking of that. I should really do two. Okay, well, let's look here. My goal is supposed to be north uh, north of New Winchester, which basically means I need I need to retrace my steps at this point. Yeah. Just um, fine. Like I said before, Tacky, like you stay all the way over there. <laughs> like I said before, you can uh, you can save a whole bunch of fuel um, if you just basically turn to turn to port and then just side dash that is forever. The, that is the lamest thing. It is. It is. But it's actually faster than. Than going normally, this which is, is so annoying. This is so lame. <laughs> it's it's so lame, but that's the way it works. Uh, I ended up uh, so incredibly lame. Well, then don't do it. But you know, <laughs> it's it's like I said before, it's cheaty. It's a little. It's more than a little cheaty because that's totally not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> it feels like we're abusing. RCS thrusters back in an older patch of Kerbal Space Program. You they might just stick actually a billion be. Of them on. <laughs> <laughs> and you're more thrust than God. Zebu says the uh, sickest drift ever, and then Drunk Monk Gar says Crab Hop to victory. Well, it, it, it just it just re it just remo uh, reminds me of of ev of every single um, speed uh, like speed running strat that you uh, you see in games that it totally works but even the speed runner hates doing it because it's so obnoxious to do and, and or ma uh, makes the really uh, makes the character like make the most irritating fucking noises on the planet side dashing oh boy S side dashing and uh, side dashing in ocarina of time yes that was actually the precise one that i was thinking of when i said that <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Brittany Zigged says, when I should have zagged. Oops, I do that all the time. Brittany says, it's not cheating, it's creative. And she's exactly right. <laughs> Look, uh, she's got her word for it, I've got my word for it. Uh, once, once you get to Albion, there's a particular music track that only plays near-ish to the Brabus and Work worlds, and those who have played before know exactly the one I'm talking about. Um... I ended up really getting into the, like, really picking up the timing of the side dashes because you can actually do it in time with that music. Huh. <laughs> what do we got here? One dead. I am not screw uh, screwing around with the Veils challenge that I have no chance of, of succeeding at. And I realize this isn't uh, this isn't really the way that I uh, that I need to go, but it's not on my chart, so I wanted to I wanted to investigate it. No, by all means, uh, investigate away because yeah, no, it could be considerably closer to New Winchester than we thought. I mean, New. Uh, th this is this is taking me back towards New uh, New Winchester, so I'm. Like it, it, it's it's de it's definitely not where I need to be, but 
It's good to know uh, to know that, that the that this skyway exists. Yeah, it's a nice little corridor to Magdalens. And it doesn't involve going through that blood freezing horror zone. Holy crap. Yeah, I think you can get like a maximum of like 10, 20 terror from that. From from a uh, horror before it stops making you, you go. Before the violins shut the hell up. <laughs> it wasn't even just the horror itself. Like, like, it was all of the crap that was around it. That true. That too. Holy moly. He's more scared of no, 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 than anything else. That, that, that's fairly legit. Fucking Tackities cannot drive. Oh my god. Fucking Tackity! Get away from me, you piece of. <laughs> god damn! Twice! Twice in, in 15 seconds! Yeah, <laughs> Tackities can't drive. Mother of god! Look, the price of rebellion means they have to cut back on driving courses. <laughs> Fair point. If you can move, they want you on a train. Yeah, that that makes sense. It's a little bit like again, the American <laughs> the American quote unquote army during the uh, during the revolution. Can you hold a gun? Congratulations, you're in. All right, now we're finally heading back north. North. To the Avid Horizon. <laughs> which... Oh, no, not again. Uh, it's a location. In Albion. I, if I'm getting too heavy on the spoilers, somebody just tell me. Yeah, dude, like, I mean, saying that the, uh, these places exist is not is not really a spoiler, in my humble opinion. Are those two... Are those two marauders? Those are two marauders. Those are indeed two marauders. You're nowhere near anywhere. So, yeah. Be careful. But they are guarding treasure. So, you know. Might be worth it. Crap. Uh-oh. Crap! Oh, you're between them. Yeah, I'm flanked. I'm flanked hard. Don't do this. It's a bad place to be. Oh, dear. Yeah, no. They're playing. No. Uh oh. They're playing pinball with you. That's not good. And that was. A there bad was not a whole lot I could I could have done about that. Oh wow. Yeah. That 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 just turned me inside out. They're You're about fine. to. They're they're gonna try to do it again. Fine. Good one, jackass! <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, friendly fire is on, use it. That gun yeah. certainly seemed better than yours. There's the ticket! The mangonels are better than yours, but they use so much heat. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Come on, you piece of shit. Come on. Oh, come dear. on, come on, come on! Oh, that almost worked out the way I wanted it to. Oh, yeah. At, th at this point, you know, like, like it's it's really late, and I have physical therapy and uh, at, at seven a.m. tomorrow. So this is get, like, like this stream is ending soon, one way or another. So at this point, I'm kind of just having fun. Fair enough. Rest uh, well, this man. fight ends with you dead, or you save and leave. Well, one of them well, is down, so uh, so it's it's. Uh... Hang on. The game the game auto saves at every port, so if you can just make it to a port. <laughs> Hello. It's keen to get close. Hello. You are catching the tail end of it. Uh yeah, Brit uh, Brittany, I I injured my neck about about a year ago, and I fi I finally have uh, I finally have have the the um the money, time, and opportunity to go uh, go get it taken care of. So, and... Jesus, a year, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I, I, w I, was I was basically working a working a, a contract. It was a rush job, and it, it, it paid a fair, a fair bit, but 
you know, I mean, I was working be uh, between six, uh, between 12 and 16 hours a day. Um, and that'll really fuck you up. And well, and, and I'm a, and I'm a programmer, so I was doing I was doing most of that of that work from a uh, from a sitting or frequently laying down position. And, oh yeah. You know, so like my ne my neck just got absolutely screwed up. And every every ergonomics uh, every ergonomics expert in the world just flinched. You know. Right. So I and eff effectively what uh, what ended up happening was I would. Um, I would, uh, I would get, I would get uh, like some some pain, uh, some pains in my neck. I attempted to uh, to stretch my neck out a couple of times, and um, one uh, and basically one time I pushed it too hard for uh, for how injured oh. my neck was, and you know I felt like numbness shoot down uh, down my extremities all the way in, into my into my hands. My hands were numb for about two weeks. It was bad. Like it, it was oh. really, really bad. And when I, when I went into the, when I finally went, uh, went in to the clinic, like they, they, uh, they X-rayed me, and you know your spine is supposed to have about three different curves in, in, in it if it's healthy. And mine had one curve. Beyond that, it was just straight Oof. as an arrow. So they, they were, they were just like, yeah, no, uh, this can't be comfortable. And if you would have left it in ten years, you would have been coming back here with osteoarthritis. So let's take care of that. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like up. all kinds of bad. It wasn't great. All right, cool. But you're getting it done. Before yeah, no. Go, like, it, it, we've been, I've been going. I've been going for two uh, for two weeks. We're still bas uh, basically in the, uh, you know, hey, this makes you really a uh, really sore stage. But yeah, no, they they those cats more uh, more or less said we want to see you three times a week for two months, and my uh, my insurance covered almost everything. Um, I, en I ended up having having to pay only like a couple a uh, couple hundred dollars for all Excellent. of that treatment. That's good. What do we got oh, here? Glad to oh dear, you're running low on supplies. Yes, do I am running low on supplies. There's the there should there should be a fr a freaking port around here though. They told me there was a port around here. Mm -hmm, there should be. Uh, the goddamn maze! Holy shit! Yeah, no, yeah. this is yeah, that's the reach for you. Okay, so it's easier once you get out of the reach. I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, yeah try going the other way. If you push forward, you, I think there's a corridor leading north. Yeah, actually, they recently did overhaul Albion. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, that was you're for right. The last big update. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, it isn't just open skies there now. Damn it! I well, like it, open it is, skies. It, it's still way more open than the Reach is, but there's definitely some more dense areas as well, especially around in London. Okay, so that's not terrible. Yeah, I just didn't. London I just didn't want yet so another open. Eleutheria. Yeah, Eleutheria is its own beast. Once that supply reaches zero, is it one bar left, or is it yes, zero? Yes, it's one zero? bar left. Okay. That, that's why. That's why I'm not. I'm not. Visib I'm not audibly ma I'm making curses. What the hell? Grim news. Your last battle resulted in a number of injuries among your crew. The medical bay is crowded. Blah, blah, blah. And the wound uh, the wounded yourself. What is this? Your fortune gives you... Yeah, whatever. Okay, great. Success. It's touch and go, but uh, but people come uh, come back from death's door. We're very happy about this. And yeah. that's, that's, an another, that's another marauder. Yeah, it is. By the way, oh, well, it's too late now, but, uh, future reference, um, if you see that red, uh, that red detection indicator, uh, if you kill your light, um, they usually, oops, they usually, uh, will, like, lose track of you, provided they haven't seen you yet. Uh, that right, said, see. Yep. Yeah, that's some of the that was the C. fastest Marauder kill yet. You're, you're getting yep. better at this. But Slightly. just like, just like Sunless Sea, if you kill your light, your terror goes up like whoa. Yep. All right, I like, like I can't, I can't count on fi on finding that that next port before before I run out of supplies, and I definitely can't count on killing that Marauder 
It is time to side hop your way to victory and back home. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. They, uh, the the the, cir the circuit. I know Magdalene's sell supplies. I suspect the circus does too. Uh, the oh, circus. the Marauder. Take the his circus supplies. Does. Yeah. And I'm, I, uh, I've got more than enough enough supplies to make it back toward uh, towards the um, towards the circus. Kill the Marauder. Take his supplies. Nick Croner says, why start us in a craggy maze? Wait, fall in London, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany says, the numb neck to arm thing sucks. I messed up my shoulder about two years ago now by pinching a nerve. Yeah, I hate those. So I understand how, how not fun that is. Yeah, I mean, the the, the immediate aftermath was, re uh, was, really, the, uh, was really the worst because, uh, because, you know, like I said, I'm a, I'm a programmer. If my hands are numb and it, it's, it's difficult to use my fingers, I cannot work. So you know, finishing out that uh, that particular uh, that particular contract was incredibly unfun. Uh, I can't remember oh, what, yeah. uh, what let's play we uh, we were do we were doing then, but you know that was that was ba uh, basically last. It was basically la uh, last year last year around around May was when uh, when I Must hurt myself. Like really, really either early in the. Um, that was the... that would have been early dishonored too. Now that I'm thinking yeah, about I was it. Yeah, I say. But yeah, so uh, so uh, like you go uh, go back and uh, you go uh, go back and, and look at like the first couple of chapters of all of Dishonored Two. I am in extreme pain through through all of those recordings. I I would I would say that uh, that explains your terrible play, but um, ah <laughs> uh, yes, that the... doesn't explain the terrible pay play through the, through the rest of the game. So wait the times where he goes to try and choke someone up from behind and then just parry. whips yeah, that is not my oh, fault i maintain <laughs> that is not my fault by the way there's uh there's a uh a temporary story lit in the circus you might want yeah to I, I, I know i noticed that no for bringing up cool guy whiffing i have something to put in the chat oh fuck. Uh, oh no or, it's in the discord yep <sighs> Okay, cool. That <laughs> lowered my terror. I forgot you made that final. I'm going back to look at this. <laughs> I'm linking that. I'm linking that in in the uh, YouTube the chat. in the YouTube chat for everybody. This this is what that's what uh, that's what fun uh, what uh, what final. Link, uh, linked for everybody, and that is going to have to be where uh, where I call it for the evening because it is one it is one a.m. and I need to be up rather soon. But this was the greatest show. You said so. I mean, it's just the first part. Of <laughs> yeah, the you you can show. you can call you can call it that. That doesn't make it true. <laughs> it's just the first part. Oh, All right, everybody. To the thank I thank you, you very much for hanging out with us tonight. I will uh, I will be I will be back when I've got more time. Take good care of yourselves until then. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks for hanging out, guys.